Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe Mama says it's my fault, it's my fault, I wear my heart on my sleeve Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over this Rod Wave vocal effect with mainly third party plugins. So let's get into it. As usual, I've got my lead vocals chained into the vocal bus, chained into the master. The vocal bus is going to have the majority of the plugins, whereas the lead vocals and the ad lib tracks are going to have specific plugins for those um, particular vocals. So let's start off with the lead vocals. On the lead vocal, I've just got auto tune on. Rod Wave has a more natural sounding voice, so my retune speed isn't as high as uh, other artists. And I've got the humanized all the way up, and I've got the flex tune on 10. The flex tune allows for pitch deviation, so the vocals sound less auto tune like. And the uh, key for this song is B flat minor, so that's what I've put in here. Uh, I've boosted the highs a little bit here uh, before it goes into the vocal bus why I do more of the surgical EQing. So if we go into the vocal bus then, we've got, as I said, the EQ. I just got a deductive EQ here or a surgical EQ, taking out the low end, taking out the low end rumble and uh, going through certain, certain frequencies and uh, listening through. So if I just mute the beat and then come back in here, if I play. <laughs> Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. So you can hear that noise as I increase this uh, specific frequency. I don't like that noise, so I'm just going to take out that frequency. And I do that for the rest of these as well. And this one as well here. So after that, um, I've got, I'm going straight into my studio rack. Uh, and on my studio rack, as usual, I've got the NS1 noise suppressor. It just takes out any background noise. Right now I've got it on 10, um, so that's my settings for that plugin. Next plugin is the Vocal Rider, which just uh, levels my voice out if I've sung a bit too quietly or a bit too loudly in certain places, it will level, level it all out. So uh, I'll just turn off all these plugins and I'll turn off this as well. I'll turn off these. So this is what it sounds like with just the NS1 suppressor and the vocal rider. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. So next we've got the R compressor. Rod Wave's vocals aren't as compressed as other artists, so I've laid off the ratio here. And uh, the threshold is uh, a bit higher as well, so not all of the signal is getting compressed. And I've got the makeup gain on seven here. And uh, I've got a, a high, a, a hard attack as well. So this is what it sounds like with the R compressor on. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. So the next plugin here we've got is the SSL channel by Waves. Uh, this plugin just adds more brightness to the vocals. Um, it's a compressor and an EQ in one plugin. So, uh, main thing to look out for this plugin is if you want your vocals to be uh, EQ'd, then compressed, then you want to select this channel out, which is what I usually do. So, it will uh, the signal will come through this plugin, be EQ'd first, and then compressed afterwards. So, these are my settings for that. And this is what it sounds like with the SSL channel uh, plugin. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. Mama said. Next is the vitamin plugin, which again brightens the vocals a lot. Um, I'd recommend this plugin. It just brings out your vocals and uh, makes them sound more prominent for sure. So these are my settings for this. And uh, this is what it sounds like with the uh, vitamin plugin. Uh. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. Mama said. So the next plugin we've got is the C4 multiband compressor. And this is what it looks like. Um, so it just splits the signal into different 
bands, as the name su- uh, suggests, and compresses them differently. So I'm reducing some of the low end here and pushing up some of the high end here as well. And this is what it sounds like with the C4 uh, plugin. Look, uh. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> Next up, we've got the DSR. This takes out all the plosives and the sibilants in the vocals. I've got the threshold on minus 25, and let's hear what this sounds like. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> Lastly, for this studio rack, I've got the CLA-76 uh, compressor. This compressor is just like a glue to uh, bring everything together that we've got on the uh, on the studio rack so far. So these are my settings for that. And this is what it sounds like with the CLA-76 compressor added on. Look, uh, look. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> Mama so that's it for this studio rack. I've also got uh, this, another C4 multiband compressor on, but this time I'm using it as a, a noise reducer. So I've selected this uh, preset here, four band noise reducer, and it just takes out a bit more of that noise as well. So this is what it sounds like with the extra C4 plugin on. Uh, uh. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> Mama say- so next up, we've got the second studio rack with more effects on. So for this vocal, I'm just using the reverb and the limiter here. So with the reverb, uh, I'm using the Hall 1 uh, preset. I'm taking out some of the low ends. Usually it's a around here, I've taken out some of that low end uh, on the reverb, because I don't want those frequencies to reverb as much as the higher frequencies. And the uh, main thing to look at here is the wet, dry, I've got it on the one. Uh, Rod Wave's vocals don't really have that much reverb on it, so I've reduced the reverb. The vocals sound uh, more natural, more acoustic, if you like. So this is what it sounds like with the reverb on. Uh, uh. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> and lastly, I've got the limiter on, um, which you just heard with the limiter on, the limiter was on. Um, so I've just set in the ceiling to minus seven decibels, and I've just got my threshold on minus 12.3 here. You just play around with the threshold until you can hear enough dynamic range in the vocal. So, and I like to set my uh, ceiling to around minus six, minus seven, as I set the uh, instrumental to minus six decibels, and I don't want the vocals to be louder than it uh, instrumental. So that's it for the vocal bus. If we come to the ad libs quickly, same thing. I've got auto tune with the same settings on as the lead vocals, and then on my studio rack here, I've got CLA effects, which I'm mainly just using for reverb, adding a little bit of reverb. Uh, with this preset here, just a tiny bit of reverb onto the ad libs and uh, pitching up the vocal just a tiny bit as well. And then I've got some delay on the ad libs as well. Uh, for this specific song, you'll hear a, a bit of delay on the ad libs. The ad libs are not too far away from the lead vocals, so just a bit of delay and a bit quieter in the background, um, just filling in those gaps so so this is the settings i've got for the h delay plugin and i've turned off the analog here mainly because i've got an ssl comp compressor on the master which you'll see later which gives the vocals some analog grit as well as the ssl um, channel plugin which also gives the vocals some grit so that's more than enough for the vocals so i've turned off the analog uh, knob here and this is what it sounds like with the h delay on and the cla effects so I'll just mute the lead vocals so you can hear what the ad-libs are like. So that's it for the ad-libs. 
Um, if we move on to the master now, on the master track, I've got the SSL comp compressor I was talking about uh, previously. I use it with the mastering preset here. And I've got the analog switch on. This is what I was talking about to give the vocal some more analog grip. The compressor just uh, brings together the vocals and the instrumental so they don't sound too far apart. And then lastly, I've got Ozo 9 uh, to master the whole track. So I usually use the master assistant. So I'll come through. I'll come through here to master assistant. Select modern or vintage. I usually select modern. I usually select low as well here. Um, low is set will set the target loudness to minus 14 lofts, which is what most streaming platforms use. So I've set it to low and destination usually to streaming. So click next, then you just play your audio. Uh, 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 heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. Mama says it's my fault, it's my fault, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Yeah. Think it's best I put my heart on nice, heart on nice, cause I can't breathe. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, it's getting the best of me. Look, uh, look, heart been broke so many times, ah. So then the plugin will assess the audio and master the track as it deems fit. So as you can see here, it's added an EQ here, a dynamic EQ as well, and the maximizer to have the vocals peak at minus one decibels. So with all the effects on, this is what the final track sounds like. Look, uh, look. Heart been broke so many times, I don't know what to believe. Mama says it's my fault, it's my fault, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Think it's best I put my heart on nice, heart on nice, cause I can't breathe. I'ma put my heart on nice, heart on nice, it's getting the best of me. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other vocal effects you'd like to hear, and I'll see you in the next video.